According to the Indiana Department of Transportation, nationally, four out of five drivers who get in accidents in construction zones are killed. Well, we should note two major construction projects are happening right now in Vigo County. With that in mind, the Indiana Department of Transportation wants you to be extra cautious. One of those projects is a bridge replacement on State Road 63 over US 41. This is a map of that area. Work should begin this weekend. The other is a patching and resurfacing project on a large stretch of US Highway 40. And this project started earlier this month. On News 10 First at 5, we told you that INDOT warns you to slow down. News 10's Bree Shackelford shares with us why it's so important to follow that advice. Well, as the weather warms up, you may start to notice more construction work as you drive to your destinations. The Indiana Department of Transportation tells me that the work you're seeing is vital to make sure the roads are safe for everyone. Indiana Department of Transportation says you need to be careful when driving through those construction sites. John Collette is the area manager for Milestone Contractors. He says he uses concrete barrier walls to make sure his workers are staying safe, but sometimes his workers are only protected by traffic cones or barrels, which could lead to something dangerous if drivers aren't paying attention. So you have 800 fatalities in a work zone. A hundred of those guys are just like my employees. They're, they're out there doing their job and they just have a really bad day. Colette says if you can, you should avoid work zones altogether. But if you do have to drive through, just slow down and pay attention. These construction zones change every day. So they're always in a different spot and they try to stay away from the hot lane, which we call the lane that the traveling public is in. Um, but no one's perfect. And we would like for people to just watch for our workers. Colette says he just wants to make sure they can finish their projects, but the number one priority is making sure the workers can go back home to their families or loved ones. But in the, at the end of the day, a vehicle is a lot bigger than a human, and there's not a whole lot you can do if someone enters the work zone. You can go to the Indiana Department of Transportation's website to see where construction will be in your area. We have that linked over on our website at WTHITV.com. Well, you'll need to keep